just give me one minute guys what were the practicals that we are going to do that regarding the DHCP uh, that should be happen on the packet tracer right so let me open the packet tracer and then we will do the configuration regarding the DHCP okay let me open that packet tracer okay so we are going to configure uh, the DHCP and uh, we are also going to provide automatically IP address to the client right so inside this Cisco packet tracer we have the two modes to configure the DHCP right either we can use the server over there let me just tell you where it is this server we can also use it right and over inside this server we have um, the facilities to provide the DHCP configuration also over there right let me just tell you this is our DHCP server we can also uh, just we can also provide the facilities like the DHCP servers to enable this feature of using uh, of using this server right but we are not going to use the DHCP server over there now what are the things that we are going to use it over there the routers right so between the routers and the PCs, we are going to provide the automatically IP address to the PCs, right? So the configuration we are going to do that over on this router, and that configuration is going to uh, propagate like the IP address configuration is going to be happen on the these PCs. So let me take the three PCs over there. Now let me make the connectivity. So over here we are going to make the connections first of all, right? And then we will do the configuration of the DHCP. This is my layer two switch, right? So we are not we are we are not going to do any configuration or on this layer two switch but over there we are going to do the configuration over on this DHCP server right this is our DHCP server what is it DHCP server right and the IP address which is we are going to configure on that is our DHCP server and the IP address which is we are going to configure on that that is 192.168.168.1.1 right within the slash 24 so uh, that network that is basically we are going to use it that is network 192.168.1.0 right so this network IP address we are going to provide or we are going to use to provide these PCs addresses right so let me do the configuration of the IP address over on this port right that is fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 right so because of this is uh, this is the DHCP server right so we are going to configure the first of all IP address over on that. So pass it on is 0 slash 0. IP address would be 192.168.1.1. Let me just verify you the IP address. Right? So I have configured the IP address or on this router. Now the second step that is we have, we are going to make the pool over there, right? The DHCP pool. So how we can configure the DHCP pool or on this router? So the commands will be DHCP. Sorry, IP. DHCP pool and the name of this pool right means you can give the any name so I'm going to use the CCIE over here right that is my uh, pool name that is we can identify that uh, whatever the 
IP address I have assigned for this automatically provided by the DHCP server to the DHCP clients so that pool is going to identify that network right after that what we are going to do we are going to give the network address over there right so the which network address we are going to use it that is network 192.168.1.0 right after that you have to use the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 right after that what is your default router what is your default router means default router means the uh, the interface of this DHCP server right means if we say that this is my default router so every PC can send that packet directly to this port right so that port or uh, where is that port is assigned this is assigned over on the DHCP server right so the default router we have to use that network IP address let me just default router right 192.168.1.1 right this is our default router you can also configure over there the DNS server as well right so the DNS server would be anything it's up it's uh, up to you whatever the DNS server that you are going to configure it over there right suppose that I took 1.10 over there right now <coughs> After that, what what we have to do? Uh, we also have to assign, like <laughs> we have to say that with I uh, mean uh, the rest with with I'm not going to use these two network IP addresses, right? Means these all are the IP addresses. These IP address is assigned or on the DHCP server, and the another one is assigned or on the DHC DNS server, right? So what we are going to do, we are going to exclude these IP address that we exclude these IP address. Why we are going to exclude these IP address? If some PC also get the same IP address, so they are not able to communicate within a network, right? Because of the same IP address cannot communicate. So we are going to do that. What we are going to do? Let me just exit IP. DHCP excluded address right so which excluded address we are going to use it that is 192.168.1.1 that is DHCP server IP address and the DNS server address as well right space 192.168.1.10 right so we are going to exclude these IP addresses only right after that what we need to do Now we are uh, we are we are going to do some configuration uh, over on this desktop. So that is IP address configuration. Now this is right now in in uh, is in the static address, right? So we are going to use as a DHCP. So let's check. Now it is going to provide automatically DHCP request successfully, right? As you can also see that that is that is the IP address that is provided by the DHCP server, right? Who is the default gateway? 192.168.1.1 is our default gateway, right? And who is our DNS server over there? That is 192.168.1.10 is our DNS server. If you wants to assign it again, so click on the static, then again click on the DHCP. So the same IP address is going to provide or on the PC number one zero right let's do the configuration of the IP address or on the, all the PCs let's check that it's going to provide the different different IP addresses right 192.168.1.12 right let me just take that I think that we are going to do that 1.13 we are getting I think right so these are the things that we can configure the DHCP over on these Cisco packet reserve right 
Now, why we use this DSCP excluded address over on this router? Because of if we suppose that if we didn't do this excluded address, so the some PCs what this what these PCs will do? This PCs is going to start automatic start assigning automatically uh, these network addresses right might be this this pc will assign the same ip address or the dns server ip address might be i'm not sure because of it depends upon the uh, selection criteria of the dhcp ip address right so these are the things we have now sometimes sometimes what should be happen sometimes um, this dhcp server is not able to provide the automatic IP address so how you can troubleshoot these things that is let me just tell you the command uh, that is let, let me just tell you show DHCP pool that command is not working over there but this is how we can check the con configuration regarding the DHCP pool over there right or we can also do one thing DHCP lease uh, now the one more topic over there what is the DHCP lease now lease means this is the uh, some kind of address assignment uh, time right means suppose that this dhcp server is active for the five hours right but after the five hours it is going to break down the dhcp neighborship with the all clients and then again it is going to make the neighborship after that right if you wants to increase this timer um, to the five five minutes to the more than five hours so you can choose or you can you can change it from there how you can change it now let me tell you dhcp lease timer uh, that is the some kind of kind of command you have to do that uh, like dhcp lease and the time that you have to type it over there right IP let me just check that DHCP pool that was CCIE right now let me check that DHCP lease I think we do not have any commands regarding this inside this packet sir but we have the command that is how we can change the, this DHCP lease command that is DHCP lease and then the timers right so this is how with following this command we can uh, we can we can change the dhcp lease timer over there no that command is basically not working inside this packet tracer but this is the same command that you have to do that right now there is one more important part of it that is um, sometimes this DHCP server is not able to provide the IP address to the clients. So what would be uh, the fault inside that that you will find it out? How you can find it out the faults that uh, how you can troubleshoot these steps? So first of all you have to check the pool over there, right? means do we have any uh, any misconfiguration inside the DHCP pool like uh, did we assign correctly the network over there and uh, did we did we like did we completed these excluded address over there or not and uh, did we like configure the DNS server over there or not so these are the steps that you have to follow that if after following this step your your uh, DHCP server is not working so you have one more thing that is MAC address binding right means you have to find it out this MAC address or on this PCs and then you have to find you have to bind the MAC address inside this DHCP pool let me tell you how you have to, you have to do that 
IP DHCP pool that is CCIE and MAC address. Um, let me tell you. That option is not working. Uh, I think that command is not inside that, but here we have some commands regarding this MAC address binding that is MAC address table aging time. Right? Let me just take one thing. MAC address and then you have to just put the MAC address over there, right? So just like that you have to do that. Let me just check that. Domain name. No. Now we have the some kind of options as well over there. Uh, we have 0 to 254 option over there. By default, this 100 option will be available for this DHCP and um, basically we have also the some kind of option 82 as well, right? So once we enable the option 82, so in this case, we require to bind the MAC addresses also with this DHCP pool, right? But these are the things is not going to be bad uh, if you are going to use the normal DHCP server over there, right? So this was all of, all about the configuration regarding the DHCP configuration over on this packet address, right? So this is how you can assign these IP addresses, and you can follow these things, right? Uh, let me let me send you uh, the link or this particular commands for that. I will share it in your WhatsApp group, right? So don't worry about that. I will share it. Okay guys, do you have any doubt, any question regarding this? Guys, it's clear or all clear? Okay, then that's fine. So uh, guys, I'm going to give you the, some task regarding this DHCP, right? What you have to do, you have to perform, perform the task over there and um, just provide the automatically IP addresses over there and I'm going to give you the some kind of different network over there and you have to follow the steps, right? So before giving the task, let me send you the PDF regarding that and that was all about the DHC, right?